is like a bomb. The house went on fire right away and we lost everything. A shocking scene at these homes in saint marc sur le lac 47 kilometers north of Montreal. This one was struck by lightning and went up in flames on Thursday during a severe thunderstorm. The fire quickly spread to neighboring homes. No one was injured, but the houses are a total loss. And the family that lives here lost their dog. He was uh, really the good dog. He's been there for us in every situation. And we lost our cat two years ago, uh, two weeks ago. And now it's my dog, so it's really hard to lose someone you, you love very much. And to say goodbye to the place where you built a life and memories. It's hard to lose everything. It's material, I know, but it's hard to, I don't know where my kid is going to be sleeping in a few days and months. I cry a lot. I didn't sleep last night. Uh, yesterday I was uh, totally in shock. I, I fall in the ground when I saw my house and burning. We heard a clap of thunder. It was a sharp noise. So my husband got up suddenly. He went out. He saw the smoke was starting to envelop the house around the roof. The wind from the storm was so strong that it pushed the fire to the two homes next door within minutes. At the time, Environment Canada had even warned of potential tornadoes in some parts of Quebec. First time I see that in 22 years of experience, lightning directly striking into a house and completely like burning a house that's pretty I don't know what you what word to use maybe stunning we talk a lot about uh, cigarettes uh, or uh, so, uh, forgot something on the stove or uh, like this never I never see that pretty much giving me the goosebumps just to be here this morning and seeing what it's like and uh, St. Matt is a small town a small community and it's people that you know, we know you're in, in the community and everyone has been mobilizing. The Red Cross is helping out the family the next few days, but their future remains uncertain. I'm a bit scared. In two, uh, two nights, uh, they are, they have nowhere to go. I need to be strong to my children and do what I have to do put, to have a house and... We need to go on. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.